peripheral devices are external devices that produce input or output for a computer. They're basically input and output devices. Some examples of input devices are a mouse, keyboard, gamepad, joystick, um, digital camera, digital video camera, biometric authentication device, touchscreen, digitizer, and scanner. These devices put the information onto the computer. Some examples of output devices are monitors. Some examples of monitors are CRT, LCD, LED, OLED, plasma, and DLP monitors. More output devices are projectors, printers, fax machines, speakers, and headphones. The peripheral devices that we're going to show you how to connect are keyboard and mouse, wired network connection, printer, speakers, and headphones. Now, the mouse and keyboard used to be connected with a PS2 cable, but now it's connected with a USB cable. And now I'm going to show you how to connect a keyboard and a mouse. So, so it's pretty easy. You just take the USB and you match these up. And you just plug it in. And then the same thing with the, the other USB. You just connect it and line it up with the slot. So that's how you connect the keyboard and the mouse. This mouse and keyboard are attached to the computer by PS2 cable. This is what a PS2 cable looks like. I'm going to show you how to install the keyboard and the mouse to your computer. So first, I'm going to install the keyboard. So, as you can see right here, for the PS2 cable port, it has a little keyboard symbol. So that's what I'm going to plug the keyboard to. So I'm going to get my cable. And if you can see, there's a little dash right there with six holes around it. And I'm going to look at my cable. And you can kind of see the dash with the six holes around it. So I'm gonna match that up. And being careful not to force it, because if it doesn't go in, you need to reposition it. And I'm gonna put it in. And now I can use my keyboard. Now it's time to install the mouse. So if you can see, there's a little mouse symbol right there. So I'm going to get my PS2 cable for my mouse, and again, the same process, there's a dash with six circles, six holes around it, and for the cable, there's a dash with six pins around it. So I'm going to match that up, and again, I'm not forcing it, just put it straight in so that pins don't bend. And now, I can use my keyboard and my mouse if they were hooked up to a monitor. So these are headphones. Headphones are used so you can listen to audio or music. So this is how you install the So you simply look for a headphone type icon and you just simply stick it until you hear click. And then that's how you install headphones. So this is how you install a speaker. First, you take the audio port and you stick it into the, like I said, the headphone icon. Like that, till it clicks. Next, you take the extension cord. Well, not the extension cord, but you plug it into the wall. And that's how you install speakers.
you need an ethernet cable for wired network connection. An ethernet cable carries analog, digital, or audio signals and can also carry power. So this is my ethernet cable right here. And I'm gonna connect it to that network interface card right here. This is the NIC network or network interface card. And this is the ethernet port. So basically, this one's pretty self-explanatory. So I already had the other end of the ethernet cable plugged into my computer, but now I need to plug in the other side of the ethernet cable to my router. So right here, as you can see, there's this is the router, and this is where to plug in the ethernet cable. So for this one, the little bump part, if you can see it, is on the bottom, and for this one, so you're going to have the bump part that's in the bottom. I'm going to plug it straight in. When you hear the snap, you know that it's plugged in. And if it were really plugged into the other end of the computer, which mine is not, because the cable is not long enough. Let's see. Meh. Having technical difficulties. Anyway, if the cable were long enough and it were plugged into the computer, this part would start lighting up and glowing like that because to signal that it was co this computer. A printer is a device that receives text or graphic output from a computer and then transfers that information to paper by either printing out text or pictures. Because printers are parallel devices, most older printers were connected by parallel cables. But through technological advancement, now most printers are connected to the computer by USB cables. I'm going to be connecting the printer to the computer by parallel cables. Yeah. To connect the parallel cable to the computer, you're first going to have to identify the port, which is right here. has 12 holes for your 12 pins. So you're going to match that up and be being careful not to force it, otherwise you might bend the pins. You're going to insert it straight in. What you're going to do is you're going to match that up so the longer side is on one side and the shorter side is on the other. Now that it's matched up, you're going to push it in straight, making sure that it's connected. So you've now connected your parallel cable. One side of this plug right here has two pins, and for this side it has two holes where the pin should go. So we're going to logically assume that the two pins go into the two holes. Now we're going to plug it in. making sure that we actually plug it in. So that's plugged in. Then we're going to plug this cord to the power outlet on the wall. Well, anyways, this is a little power outlet. And 
I think we all know how to plug in a power outlet. And now our printer has power. Lovely. For more modern printers, they use USBs to connect the printer to the computer. I'm going to show you how to connect the printer to the computer with the USB cable. So, first, I'm going to connect the USB to the computer. So, if you can see right here, this says USB, so it indicates that these are your USB ports. This is USB port 1 and USB port 2. And now I'm going to connect the other side of the USB cable to the printer. Now take the other side of your USB cable, USB B, and you can see right there the USB cable is supposed to be plugged in right here. So you want to match it up, and you want to put it in straight until you hear the click, and that's how you know that you've connected it to the printer. So now that you've plugged your USB to the printer and connected it to the computer, you'll need to power your printer, otherwise it won't work. So there's this is your power adapter. So, I, I'm going to match it up. And plug it in. And we get a snap, you know that's connected. So, the other side of the power adapter looks like this. It's not plugged into the wall yet, so the, thing, the printer isn't getting any power. So we need to plug it up. So, this is a little power strip 